Hey everyone, this is a Diadem Nova 100 and it not only looks amazing, it plays amazing. It is probably the best 300 gram racket I have tested so far. This racket was a freaking surprise. It should not play like it did. It should be powerful, unstable and generate a lot of spin. But it played out differently. So let's see on the court how it performed. So let's start with top spin and the spin of this racket is good. It is very good. It is nothing special, but it's, it's fine. There are two reasons this racket helps you with generating spin. It is firstly very easy to swing because it's more headlight. So you can generate a lot of racket at speed. And also the second thing is that the launch angle is very on point in my opinion. Especially on the forehand, when you compare it to the head speed MP for instance, you get way more top spin. But of course, uh, compared to the Bubble Art Pure Aero, you get less top spin because it's the launch angle is in between of those two. So I liked it on the forehand because I get a lot of spin because I can generate a lot of racket at speed. On the backhand, it was more on the flatter side of course because that's my technique on the backhand, and I could also get a lot of kick on my surf and that is something I really enjoyed. Let's continue with it because I was very worried about it. Because the stiffness of this racket is very high with 69. So I thought about my wrist and my elbow which will get hurt in the process of testing this racket but I was pleasantly surprised about how this racket actually felt. It is more on the crisper side but but with the FS system and some other technology in the racket, which I don't want to bore you with, this racket actually have a good shock absorption and the feel of this racket is amazing. You really feel connected to the ball. You get a response I did not have in a long time because most other frames are very muted and here you get really the sensation that you can guide the ball into the right direction where you wanted it to be. So especially I noticed that on the surf because normally with such rackets I cannot surf properly because I just cannot hit in the court with my first surf. And the second thing was my backhand because normally with a 300 gram racket I cannot hit a normal backhand without hitting the back fence. And you can see some highlights here where I've played some down the line backhands without any hesitation and made them, which is unusual for me. <laughs> so can this racket be powerful even though it is good control and have good feel? And I would say yes, because you have a 300 gram weight, which is headlight, so you can swing the racket fast. Combine that with a 16 by 19 string pattern, a 100 inch head size and a pretty thick beam, with a high stiffness also, you get a lot of power and pop from this racket. Don't get me wrong, it's not a pure drive or any other power racket in the category. But if you can swing it fast, which it is, you can really generate a lot of power with it. I especially realized that when I was defending that I get depth even though I was on the back foot. And also on the backhand side, I realized even though I play a little bit short on my backhand, sometimes with other rackets, I really had no issue with having depth with this racket. Also on the surf, the pop is amazing. So I had no issues with hitting aces and I really like that this racket is giving you power combined with control and not just power. So you're probably asking me now, Christian, is this racket really unfriendly? And I must tell you, it is. Actually, for me at least, I strung it up with headlinks to at 24 kilograms and it felt fine. I didn't have any arm soreness. I didn't have any discomfort in any, in my elbow or in my wrist or something like that. Actually, the forgiveness is also a very important part in this racket because it almost felt like my Head Gravity Pro where the sweet spot, sweet spot is so big that you almost cannot miss it. So, 
it is easy to swing, it is very good in shock absorption and it is forgiving. So a fantastic racket in that regard as well. There you have it guys. This racket not only looks amazing, it plays amazing. And I can recommend this racket to each and every one of you who is at least an intermediate player who wants a little bit more control and feedback from a racket and stability of course. If you have enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you like it. And if you have more time, watch this video next.